when I was little because my dad used to be in the Air Force we lived in lots of different countries and so sometimes my grandparents would come to visit from England and I was always really excited when they come over because whenever they came we'd have a great time they'd come with lots of sweets and toys and gifts and I could generally do all sorts of things I couldn't get away with doing when they weren't there it was so so much fun to have my grandparents there but of course all good things came to an end and they couldn't stay forever and after a couple of weeks they would fly back home to Britain again and usually we'd drive with them to the airport and then we'd say goodbye to them at the gate and then we'd stand on the viewing deck on top of the airport and watch the plane take off and I always remember as the plane took off and disappeared into the sky I always used to wonder whether I'd ever see them again. I felt so, so sad that they'd gone and I missed them so, so much. Would I see them? Would I remember them? Would they remember me? Did they still love me? Would they ever come back? It was really, really tough. It was a bit like that for Jesus' disciples in the Gospel today. They must have felt a bit the same when Jesus went up to heaven and disappeared from their sight. Would he still remember them? Would they still remember him? Did he still love them? Would they still love him? Had he gone forever? Was he ever, ever going to come back? But of course we know what Jesus said. He said, I will always be with you to the end of time. He promised that and he promised that one day they would meet again. And indeed they did. And indeed Jesus is always with us. He's with us in so many different ways. He's with us when we listen to his word. He's with us when we break the bread and share the cup that becomes the body and blood of Jesus Christ at Holy Communion. He's with us whenever we gather as a family, whenever we love each other, whenever we take, take care of each other. Jesus is always with us. We're never ever alone. Just because we can't see him doesn't mean that he's not with us. Now I know that over the last couple of months there's been people that you've not been able to see and maybe you've also missed them as well. Maybe Two months ago there were people you said goodbye to and you didn't know when you'd see them again. Might be your friends at school, might be your grandparents, might be other relatives, it might be other people who are close to you. And you've not really been able to see them except maybe on Zoom or Skype or FaceTime. And you wish that you could give them a hug and you wish that you could spend time with them. And maybe there's been times and you've wondered, are they still there? Are they still loving you and thinking about you and taking care of you? But what Jesus reminds us on the Ascension Day is that just because we can't see someone that we love doesn't mean they're not with us. Our grandparents who might live a long way away, our friends who might live close by and we don't see, and even the people we love who have died and gone to heaven, they're all with us in a very special but different way. And Jesus promises that all those people we love and that we miss, that one day we will meet them again. So I hope you have a lovely feast of the Ascension. Have a wonderful day. Look forward to chatting to you all again very soon.